it touches the, the divine when it's perfection. It's the you of you, which is your soul, as George Pocock used to say. The whole idea of rowing was totally foreign to this area, to Newport Harbor, where we did a, we eventually did our rowing. Uh, it started in May of 1951 uh, with a guy that was executive secretary of the Newport Harbor Chamber of Commerce, and his name was Harry Welch. And so uh, he arranged in May of 1951 for an intercollegiate crew race, and they held it in the North Lido Channel, and it was just an ideal length for crew races. For the first time, the tradition that, it, that was very prevalent in England and on the East Coast of the United States was suddenly right here in their backyard. The person that took over was a guy by the name of Hay Langenheim. And he thought, we've already had a crew race here. Why don't we involve a local educational institution in crew? So what he did was, he said, well, there's a, there's a relatively new uh, junior college. Uh, up here in Costa Mesa called Orange Coast College. Someone came up with the idea, why not make it a, a club? They couldn't have a crew as a sport here. The, university, or the college was strapped, but uh, it got going. And as soon as it got going, Orange Coast was very successful in rowing against university level uh, crews. I think there was some community input. Uh, they got the college to recognize it, and from then on, it was, uh, it really has been holding its own. The equipment then um, was so primitive, but we didn't, again, didn't know any better. Uh, oars were very different. They were long, slender toothpicks, very different than the big hatchets nowadays. Uh, and of course, they were all wood. Everything was wood in those days. And, uh, you know, we, we like to say wooden ships, iron men. The uh, shells that we had were uh, basically built for the 1932 Olympics. So uh, by the time they had been in storage for, for 20 years, uh, they were not in very good shape. So we had to do a lot of work to uh, uh, patch uh, uh, cracks in the hulls and things like that. But uh, we all learned to do that, uh, that kind of work to keep those shells up. And uh, we got another shell from the 32 Olympics down in Long Beach. 
that turned out to be a pretty good shell. A shell now weighs about 190 pounds. That shell probably weighed 400 pounds. It was so heavy, it took 16 people to carry it to the water. It turned out to be an advantage. If you keep lifting the 500 pounds, by the time you get to competition and you only have to lift 200, hey, these are gonna be like feathers. Well, that's the way it was in crew. Team sports were much more fun than individual sports. And rowing is certainly that. Rowing demands an expertise, a focus, a concentration that I think almost no other sport does. eight-man crew like that, you've got to have eight very well-coordinated people working together and then the, the crew works. One of the things you have to do is keep the uh, sweeps parallel to the water's surface uh, uh, in order to give stability to the shell. But uh, one time the number uh, eight guy, the stroke, uh, was uh, relaxed a little bit too much and the oar went in the water. He caught a crab. It would catch you in right in the stomach and literally in seconds lift you out of the shell and plunk you into the water. So you had to go as deep as you could to avoid those, those oars. Fortunately, the uh, rest of the shell stayed upright and we got him and he, he uh, was able to climb back in the shell, but that, that was always kind of the thing he had to live with. One of the greatest feelings is to be in an eight, which is going well. A thousand meters, it continues to be Orange Coast College, which according to our report from Charles at the start line, got off to a tremendous start. Catches are made exactly together, finishes are let go exactly together. Then you hear uh, the sound of bubbles racing along the side of the, of the eight. When you feel that efficiency that the boat's moving and it's moving because you're all a, a well-oiled team, that's, uh, that's a big incentive to keep it up. That, that is a, that's a great feeling to be coasting along and all of these guys pulling hard. That's kind of neat. I, I recall that it's as if it happened yesterday. The joy of feeling the run of the boat without any hitches, without any stops, without any setbacks to the boat. So it's, a, it's just a marvelous feeling. And, and you just feel like you have the weight of the world on the end of your oar. After the race, if you win the race, of course, the tradition is that, you, uh, that your teammates throw the coxswain off the pier into the, into the drink. I always thought it should be the other way around. But the winning coxswain gets tossed in the water by the crew when the race is over. If you're the bowman in the Orange Coast boat and you won, the bowman from Cal or Stanford or Washington or Harvard or Yale will come to you, take his shirt off, and give it to you. Winning is the best part about a regatta, being able to um, uh, walk up and uh, collect the jerseys from a really fierce rival like Stanford. And I have, I have a, actually have a Stanford jersey and UCLA. And there's a lot of pleasure in that particularly for Orange Coast. I mean, we're the only community college in the country with a crew. We work pretty hard. And the result is we win quite a lot. Uh, once in a while we don't, but we live to race another day. Winning our first West Coast Championship in 65 was, showed us that we were capable of something. In 68, beating Washington uh, at Washington was like, uh, beating Notre Dame on St. Patrick's Day uh, on Sunday after Mass. I mean, it was just, it was fabulous. It seemed to us at the time that Orange Coast College had not won anything, um, really, of any note. And for us to be able to beat USC, uh, the big rowing power, was very significant. And I think that simple win probably um, excited us more about being better and better than, um, than probably anything we could have done. Orange Coast was the first crew, college crew to go to China, to be invited to China. It was fabulous. I think the first time I was at the boathouse, I was hooked. 
uh, being out on the water and uh, you know being with uh, being with other other uh, men your age um, in an activity and there's something very unique about crew there's that sense of that start and then you're getting into it experience with crew here was uh, was really wonderful in Orange Coast and I'm very blessed. Orange Coast College along the shoreline, they got off to an early strong lead. We'll need to see if they've got enough to finish it off. Very happy to have been part of that because we were the ones that got it started and uh, had to fight for recognition as a varsity sport. Everyone else in sight, it's a great place to be with 500 meters to go. This is Orange Coast College in lane number one. Nine people really working together to keep straight course, strong course. We could make something out of this. We, we probably could make something out of this. It is Orange Coast College on the lead, followed by UCLA outside to Davis, inside to uh, Lehigh now moving up, and uh, we have Minnesota and Santa Clara. Looking back at our finish, Orange Coast College, a wire-to-wire -wire run and a very good pull. It was a great experience, and anyone today that would go into crew, I, I would enthusiastically uh, encourage them to do that because it, um, it's a sport that creates a lot of camaraderie and uh, teamwork. It just makes it a great sport.